Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's Kim here and today is Thrifty Thursday. However, even though I'm saying Thrifty Thursday, I want to introduce you to a whole new collaboration that is also going to take place on Thrifty Thursday called Thrifty Canucks. And the reason for that is we're going to have a second hashtag that you can search for if you are Canadian and you want Canadian content. Um, right now, there are four of us that are collaborating on this with hopes of having more of us in the future. So if you are a Canadian artisan and seller and you have a YouTube channel and you want to join in on our Thrifty Canucks um, collaboration, just leave me a message or leave a message on any other of uh, the other uh, members uh, YouTube channels and uh, we will be sure to include you in the upcoming uh, thrifty hauls so right now there are four of us um, Lauren Prince has a YouTube channel called evermore creative art studio uh, Kim Tracy Murray has vintage lilac memories Caroline Jensen, and I'm sure lots of you already know Caroline. She's been around for a while, and um, she has Caroline's Craft Tree. So there are four of us, and the hashtag is hashtag Thrifty Canucks, C-A-N-U-C-K-S. And I will have all that information linked in the description below, as well as links to each of their uh, YouTube channels. So each week, even though we're, I'm still going to have Thrifty Thursday on my, um, as one of my hashtags, uh, to stay in the collaboration with Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming, and I'll leave her link below too. Uh, we, we really wanted to start a channel of all Canadian, um, uh, content. So yes, if you have a chance to uh, visit us on a weekly basis, you'll get to see Canadians across Canada as we grow, um, and where we go thrifting and shopping so that maybe if you live in that area, you'll be able to find some great finds that, that your, um, the other YouTubers find. So today's um, uh, thrifty, th uh, thrifty Canucks is um, a little bit of a backup from, from uh, before I went on holidays. Uh, as some of you know, I did go on holidays for 10 days. I went back to Manitoba. I'm currently living in New Brunswick, but I went back to Manitoba to visit my friends and, and family. And I had, uh, I had done a video for my last week's Thrifty Thursday, and I was late getting it posted. And I am so excited uh, to get all the response from all of you that uh, sent me messages saying, hey, where is that Thrifty Thursday um, uh, video? It's not up. And then some of you commented, oh, now it's up. So it really makes me feel good to know that um, you've enjoyed it enough to, to leave me a comment when I didn't have one. And I even had uh, one of my, my YouTubers say that uh, she had to eat lunch with a stranger on YouTube because... I didn't have my video up. So hopefully we've straightened that out and we will continue to do our uh, Thrifty Thursday, Thrifty Canuck, Canucks videos um, so that you can have lots of content. And again, with the Thrifty Canucks, you will have content from other people who won't feel so much like strangers. So let's get started with today. And then I have a few other things to tell you as well. So today's uh, haul is a pretty good one. Like I said, I, I had a, I'm a little bit backed up because I've been buying and I haven't had a chance to do all my videos. Um, so there's always going to be lots of stuff. I, I have no shortage of things to pick up. And, you know, now it's it's for viewers as well as for me shopping. So um, I have to go out and, and find new things all the time. So my first one, again, um, I went to Value Village uh, or VV Boutique, as some of you know it, and I go on Tuesdays when they have the 30% off, and this was a steal. It's, it's a tub of 18 pairs of scissors, although there are a couple pairs that are missing, uh, but it comes with this fancy little stand, and, and it's, it's a spinner stand, and I could not believe the price of it. It was... $2.99 and I got my 30% off on it. So it was uh, $2.10 and I think there's a little bit of tax. Um, I don't need all these scissors and some of them I will gift out as I go along, but 
I couldn't leave it behind because, again, I can use it for gifts, for Happy Mail, all kinds of fun little treasure ideas. So, so yeah, it had to go in my cart. And, yeah, I did a start the car moment uh, uh, when I got this one in my cart. So that was one of the first things. And then um, this was from another thrift shop at because I went to two the same day. And, and it was only a 10-cent Reader's Digest book but I will use it. I, I always like picking these up and for 10 cents, I had to take it with me. Um, the paper is always good for doing ephemera and, uh, it'll get used very easily. The next book that I got, and again, this was from the other thrift shop. I paid $3 for this book and it is an international encyclopedia and dictionary. It's one book. It's heavy. Um, it is very large in size, so the pages are great for, for doing all kinds of different ephemera add-ons for my journals. But what I love about this is all of the colored images throughout this book. Isn't this amazing? There are so many images and all different types of topics and designs. Um, it just blows my mind how much is in here. Um, so yeah, this was an excellent find for, for, um, $3. So, so I will have no problem, uh, putting this to use and, and it goes right through the whole, whole book. Like there's images right through. So there's lots to, uh, play with here. So yeah, this was a score. Now I think you guys by now know how much I love my index cards. Um, this was $1. And it came with the index cards already kind of uh, distressed a little on the edge because the edges are all a little bit aged. So a great pile of index cards and these A to Z file holders. Now, I, again, I paid a dollar for these. So always something I can use in journals. File folders, these little file folders are great to um, use as a journaling card in your journals uh, into a tuck spot. Uh, and they, you know, they already have the tab built in, so you don't have to do anything unless you want to decorate it a little bit, but um, they are ready to go. And lots of writing opportunity. You could even uh, draw or print lines onto here if you want to have some control of your writing space. But uh, again, it's it's uh, it's like for almost free for a dollar. Um, there's so much material here. So just to get you a little curious, I'm going to put it in pile with this book. Okay. But that's all I'm telling you right now because I can't tell you everything. So then for another dollar, I got these airmail envelopes. And there's at least, uh, well, it looks like there's at least a dozen. I'm not going to count them right now, but there's at least a dozen for a dollar. So that's about 10 cents a piece. And these are the very old ones. Um, they're very lightweight and um, uh, cute size, uh, like a perfect size for a journal card to hold the card, as well as to tuck into your journals. So this was a dollar for the package, and I'm going to put them in this same pile. What's going on right now? The other two items, the scissors and this Reader's Digest book are just off to the side, but these are all in one pile. Then I went to another thrift shop and I got this lovely box. It's a Rolodex, a set of files, and I paid $2 for the whole box. These are the larger ones. They're about a five inch by probably about a three inch uh, size. And there's a few hundred. I think the box originally came with, um, I think I saw it somewhere here. Yeah, it originally came with 1,000. So there must be maybe 500 cards here plus. There are some, also some of the uh, file uh, dividers, the A to Z things, just like the other ones. These are smaller. Um, they're well used, but uh, the tabs look a little shabby, but I think um, you could always cover the, sh the uh, tabs a little bit um, to dress them up a bit, but again, nice to work with. And then they came with these plastic sleeves. Now, I don't know if this was originally part of the plan, uh, or part of the box, but they come with these plastic sleeves as well. 
So again, I'm going to put those in this pile. The next thing uh, was another set of, of um, file folders. This is a very old box. It's a very vintage set. I paid $2.99 less the 30%, so $2.10 plus a little bit of tax. I got the box that goes with it. It's just a nice little um, rectangular box. It says 100 guides. I don't know how many are in here, but must be very close to 100. And the box is interesting because it has these little metal corners on it. So you know it's an older box uh, simply because uh, we just don't do this anymore. And also it says made in Canada. There aren't a lot of these type of things made in Canada anymore. Um, most of it either comes from the United States or for some, from somewhere else. Um, but yeah, really great find. Uh, really nice size, nice weight to them. Uh, so something that could easily be used as, as a journal in a, a journal card in a tuck spot. So again, going in the same pile here. The next thing is this uh, red heart. And I don't know, I just really liked it. It's going in my studio. It's metal and it has such an ornate pattern on it that I just said, well, this belongs in my room. And I paid $2 for it, but it's for me and I'm happy to um, just show it to you. But yeah, this is totally for me. So that's going in that pile. Hmm. That kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? And then there was this. This box cost me $4. It is an invitation kit. So there, I think there's been some things added, some things taken out, but in the end, there are a nice big pile of cardstock cards. I think there is a, no, there isn't even a score mark to fold them. I guess you have to manually fold them. Um, and, and at the bottom of the pile, there was two that were in blue. So I don't know if that was a separator in the box or if somebody just tucked these in that they're the exact same size, but these are all blank cardstock in white that I can do something with them or maybe possibly even turn them into a card, but there's lots of use for that. And the rest was envelopes, but this is where I realized that something had been taken out of here because there's a package of 50, 50 green ones. So there are lots of envelopes in here. And again, another great box because you know me, I love boxes. Um, so, so there's quite a pile here. There must be, it looks like there's more, more white than green. So I would say there's at least a hundred envelopes here because this is quite tight. I don't think anybody's taken anything out of it. So I'm guessing there's at least a hundred envelopes here. And then all of the card uh, card stock as well. So that was a great little find. And again, I will put it in this corner. See this pile is growing. Now this next one was four ninety nine for one hundred sheets of uh, photo paper, and it's a high gloss inkjet eight and a half by 11 size. I don't think anything's been taken out of this. If it has, it's been like one because it's a pretty tight box. Um, so for $4.99, I believe these cost close to $20 just for, for the 100. Um, and $4.99, and that would again be less 30%. So it'd be a dollar 50 off of it. So it would be 350. For 350, of course I have to buy it. Um, this is great for printing photos for, to use in your journals uh, for printing photo um, journal cards that you can write on the other side because the the photo paper is blank on the other side so it's nice to have this glossy image and then have the the uh, plain stock uh, backside that you can use to write on or you, you can collage on top of it as well so a great find uh, I'm just been scoring so much lately in this department uh, Keep your eye out when you go to office supplies. You'd be surprised. And if you can go on a Tuesday at Value Village, again, you'd be surprised at what you can pick up. 
So my last three items that I'm going to show you are some different uh, linens that I picked up. So here is another one of my bed sheets, and it has these beautiful pink roses on it. There is a nice uh, finished panel here at the top, but it has lots of uh, pretty roses throughout. So these could easily be cut out to use in clusters, or you can cut it into strips to use for, for um, ribbons. Uh, like shab making shabby ribbons or cut into strips for making pockets, all kinds of ideas. So, so again, I, I just can't pass this up. Uh, you know, when you see something like this, it's so pretty and so easy to use in your journals. I just, it just falls right into my cart and I don't think I paid very much for it. If I paid three or $4, that's about it. I don't know where the price tag went on that one. And then there's this piece of fabric. It is an orange, very bright orange curtain, but it is very mesh-like, like there's lots of openness to it. So it's very airy. I just find that this would make some fun, shabby pockets that you can put onto a book, maybe in a boho journal. Um, I think that it, the, the fact that you can see through it allows you to make the pocket and then, you know, tuck something in there and you can sort of see it uh, through the pocket. Uh, there are other possibilities, maybe using it as a background behind an image or um, as little uh, cluster spots, but there is a lot of material here and orange is kind of an unusual color, right? So it's not like you can use a lot of it in anything you're doing, uh, but it does make a nice accent. So I'm putting this in the same pile that's going right here. And then I got this bed sheet again, another bed sheet, uh, probably only paid a few dollars for this one. Um, I don't know because this one store takes the tags off. So I, I forget some of the prices sometimes, but I wouldn't pay very much for it. Uh, definitely because I have a good collection of, of, uh, sheets. So there's, there's gotta be, um, some time to actually work and use up some of this stuff, but the colors were pretty. Um, it's complementary to this orange, not a hundred percent, but I love the yellow daisies and the white daisies and stuff. And it's just got a nice spring feel to it, even though it is more yellow than pinks, uh, which we would have it in the spring, but it's just, it just feels nice. And again, this will cut up nicely into strips for doing, uh, shabby ribbons, or you could use it for shabby tassels, um, as well as, uh, pockets and maybe the inside of a journal, like a liner for the inside of a journal as a, instead of the outside. But again, there's just, it's whatever you feel that you have an, a use for it for your journals. Uh, it'll work. Um, so yeah, so that's the last item that I have to show you today and I'm putting it into this pile. And this is the pile that I'm talking about. Now, I don't know if you can see, there's the three sheets. There's this paper, there is the invitation box, uh, a couple different kinds of index cards and Rolodex. Then there was those index cards and this big heavy book. So that's all the items in that pile. And the reason I'm talking about that pile is I've decided to do something fun and exciting. And I'm going to call this Thrifty Gifty. So every week when I show you my haul, I'm going to pick out items from the haul like I did just now. And if you leave a comment um, and if you share this post, if you like the video and if you tell us where you shared it, um, the following week, the first thing I will do before I start my video on my current week's haul is I will announce the winner from the previous week and they each winner will like each one winner will get a little sampler of all of these items in an envelope mailed out to them. So what'll happen is I, I, I may give you one index card, one airmail envelope, one of uh, one or two of the uh, other file cards, maybe one or two of the envelopes with the invitations uh, a couple of Rolodex, a couple pages out of the encyclopedia, a couple of scraps from the orange fabric, the, the uh, rose fabric and the yellow fabric. So you'll get, and, and as well as the, uh, photo, um, um, 
the glossy photo sheets. So I will make up a little tiny package. It has to be something small because otherwise I'll go broke doing this every week. Um, but yes, I will take something from each of these in this pile and send the winner that envelope for, for this week. So again, you have to leave a comment uh, telling us where you're sharing uh, my video so that other people can join and, and become subscribers and where um, uh, also telling, giving us the link. If you could give us the link to where it is so that we can go and review it. Um, if you can uh, uh, like the post and of course be a subscriber. Those are the, the three things that you need to do in order to be entered into this draw. So, um, that is my newest thing, thrifty gifty for the, the, um, thrift shop haul videos and hashtag thrifty Canucks with an S. Uh, again, I will leave all that information below in this video, including how to enter the draw. And each week we will make a draw from the previous week. So every week I will be giving something away from that haul. Um, and, and it, could be a surprise. You could have other, other things added into it as well. You know, sometimes I like to clear off my desk and anything that's in my way, go get stuffed into that envelope. So, um, yes, so that's what we're doing with the thrift shop hauls. One more winner to announce. And that was if you, if you were, um, on my video of the journal I made for my friend Thelma. And if you left her a message on her Facebook page saying happy birthday to her, because it was her birthday on the day that the, the, uh, that I posted the journal, um, I was going to draw a name from all of the people that had left her comment. And we did go back and dig through some of them left her a message. Some of them were able to comment on her page. Some of them had commented on her Facebook page, but I think we got everybody and, uh, we just made a quick draw cause there weren't that many entries and we just made a quick draw. And the winner is Anne Alba and she is here in Canada. I have to get her address from her. Um, uh, but she was uh, the winner of, uh, she will receive a little gifty, uh, birthday gift, uh, is what I called it. And so I will get in touch with her and it, it hasn't yet been posted on the, the video uh, of the book, but I will get it posted. Uh, as I said, I just came back from holidays, so I'm a little bit behind on everything. Uh, and I think that's all I have to tell you. Uh, I think that's just about it. So stay tuned for my Sunday tutorial. I have something planned for this Sunday. I know I missed last Sunday and I'm, I'm sorry for those that were looking forward to it. I just couldn't quite get everything done, but now I will I'll get to Sunday's uh, tutorial uh, this week. So we will get caught up again and stay tuned for some of our other things that are happening. Uh, there are some different fun ideas that are going through our heads and some new collaborations with Canadians. So who knows what will come in the next little while. I wish you a very creative day and a creative week, and I look forward to seeing all of you very soon. Bye for now.